to the Organics Conservation Studio here at the British Museum. Um, I'm Monique and I'm a senior textile conservator. And over the next 11 weeks, um, my colleague Hannah and I will be working on the conservation of an 8th century Chinese Buddhist silk embroidery. My name's Hannah, I'm a newly qualified textile conservator and I'm really pleased to be able to join the team and Monique on this project to conserve the Vulture Peak embroidery. I've already done a little bit of preliminary research about the textile and its history, especially um, to learn more about its condition and how that's changed over time. We're quite lucky that we have records of the textile as it came into the museum and what happened. is part of the museum's Stein collection and um, this is a large group of mainly paintings on scrolls and banners but also artefacts including textiles and these were all brought to the British Museum in 1908 by Sir Oralstein following his second expedition exploring the sites along the ancient Silk Road in northwest China. Uh, you can see that it depicts the figure of the Sakyamuni Buddha in the middle and he's flanked either side by um, two bodhisattva figures and two other figures um, which are now largely missing. We've got um, smaller groups of figures at the bottom and also at the top and a sort of canopy over the head of the Buddha. The embroidery is made um, from silk embroidery threads which have been worked onto a very lightweight silk ground fabric this ground is now almost um, entirely missing. There's just a few fragments of it remaining. And then underneath that is a hemp lining. So the embroidery was worked through both the silk and the hemp to give a bit more body. What's immediately remarkable about the textile is its size. It's over two and a half metres long by over one and a half metres wide. So for something this size to have survived since the 8th century is really quite um, incredible. I mean, it is quite fragmentary and has been previously restored, but even so, its survival is incredible. In 1908 and 1912 it was restored and we know that because Stein recorded that in a book called Ruins of Desert Cafe in 1912 and he described the state of the embroidery as having remarkable freshness and shimmer but he also described the state of the areas of loss as being in a state of sad havoc which I think is quite lovely. Um, he then went on to unusually describe in a bit of detail the restoration that happened in order to make it safe for display in the museum. It was restored by a lady called Miss E. A. Winters from the Royal School of Needlework. It took her over two months to do the restoration, so to stitch it onto a new backing. It was really fascinating to read this because it's also a nice insight for our predecessors and the precursors to textile conservation. This previous restoration is what we see today. That restoration is beginning to fail and no wonder because it has been over 100 years now. We're actually looking to assess the condition of that and look into how we can make it safe for display again. The embroidery is now being prepared to go on loan to Japan next year in a temporary exhibition at the Nara National Museum. I've already carried out a very initial conservation assessment and I did find several areas of concern which um, have highlighted the need for a fairly extensive conservation. So we really need to make it strong enough to withstand the rigours of all the transportation as well as the display. Mm -hmm. 